Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how we can share text and links using Xamarin Forms applications. So here I have um, all the platforms supported by Xamarin and here I have built an application that shares link and uh, text. So here for example, when I click this uh, button share uh, text, then you see that the application will go and try to uh, use the system to share uh, a certain uh, text so that uh, here um, the platform the windows platform displays all the applications that supports sharing uh, text so here you see the messaging OneNote, outlook mail and of course you may get uh, more applications if when you are running uh, your in your device because you have more uh, applications than um, the, those three ones so this is for sharing the uh, text and for sharing the link if I click here then it will uh, actually uh, do almost the same and try to uh, get all the applications that can share uh, links I can do also open a browser so when you click in open browser it will open the browser in a certain uh, URL here here I, I have specified my uh, channel on YouTube the same thing for Android here I can share uh, text when clicking this button so here uh, as in my um, emulator I, I have I think I only have the um, one application that supports sharing text which is the email application for that it goes directly to my email uh, application open it and here you see it specified this uh, text to share which is the value I have already uh, set in order to share it come back to my application I can do also open uh, or share a uh, link for example and here you see it's opening again my email application and trying to share this link that I have previously uh, set if I try and open browser then here um, it's opening my uh, YouTube chan channel again Here I'm running on the Android emulator. I have done more, and here I connected my um, my Android uh, physical device using this app called uh, Visor. I, you get this name. You can use it for free. So here I'm connecting to my uh, real device. So if I go and share a text, you see here I'm getting lots of options because I have uh, lots of applications unsta installed in my device so I'm getting Gmail, Facebook, uh, Hangout, OneDrive uh, and lots of other applications that supports sharing uh, text if I go back and set um, share link for example then now I'm almost getting the same applications that uh, also supports sharing uh, link if I try now open browser then you see here uh, it's not opening the browser but instead it's opening the YouTube application because here in uh, Android it um, it knows that I want to uh, uh, to navigate to the YouTube channel for that it's opening directly the uh, my YouTube channel inside uh, the YouTube uh, application so how can we build this type of applications how can we build this uh, functionalities how can we share uh, text and link and open browsers and uh, Xamarin Forms applications so here I have added a new uh, user interface a new home page in this home page I have all the three uh, buttons the share text share link and open a browser 
and they have associated each button with a, a click event so here if I select the share text on click it then here I have um, this line of code that will do the sharing or it's using here cross share dot current cross share this is not um, it doesn't came by default with Xamarin forms instead you should uh, uh, install it using uh, NuGet packages. How we can do that? We can go here to your solution, right click, manage NuGet packages for solution, and inside this um, this box here, we look for a plugin called plugin dot share. And here it is, this uh, this one, this plugin. We should, um, we should install this plugin in all our Xamarin Forms projects. For that, we select here all, uh, all the projects. Here, I have it installed. But for you, if you don't have it installed, then you should have um, the install button uh, enabled. So you hit uh, install, and you choose for the uh, latest stable version. By hitting install, um, Visual Studio will take a couple of uh, seconds to install this uh, package, this NuGet package, and it will add all the dependencies inside your references. For that, here I have the plugin.share and newsonsoft.json and the other um, dependencies installed automatically using uh, NuGet packages. So, once we have done that, now we can get this object which is coming from plugin.share for that here I'm using that namespace using plugin.share I'll call the current instance then um, inside the current instance I have these uh, options which I can choose from so I have the option of uh, share what share does it simply share takes to compatible devices and I have the option to share link. For share, it supports, um, it gets parami two parameters. The first one is of type, uh, both of them are of type string. So the first one is the text uh, you want to share. So you want to write uh, your paragraph or the text you want uh, to share in Xamarin Forms. Then the title of that uh, thing you want uh, to share. So it's like a title and description. that I use that one with the share text uh, button here oh, sorry it's for the first button and the second button it will go and share a link and it uses um, the uh, the same object cross share dot current dot share link so here I'm passing as a parameter the link to my uh, to a certain uh, URL The third one is opening the browser. How can we open the browser? We use the same uh, object, cross share dot current dot open uh, browser, which is displayed here at one of the methods inside the cross share uh, dot current object. So opening a browser supports uh, one or um, one required parameter and one optional. So for the required parameter, it should be the URL you want to launch on your uh, mobile browser. So here, this um, this share plugin is one of uh, lots of plugins built by uh, Xamarin. If you want to get the full list of those uh, plugins, then you can. I recommend to. Um, look for this website here it's uh, github.com slash xamarin slash xamarin components here you can find all um, lots of plugins that might be helpful for you so for here uh, i have plugin for uh, to get the battery status for example a plugin for barcode scanner that is based on uh, zzinc for .net. I have plugin for Compass, for example, for connectivity, for cryptography, device info, device motion, uh, 
uh, for uh, maps, uh, for managing the file system, for geolocator, for notifications, for media messaging, uh, push notifications, settings, and here our plugin we have used today, the share plugin. Text to speech, you might be interested in this one. And lots of other uh, plugins that are built by Xamarin and, for, and by the uh, community working on Xamarin forms uh, platforms. So I recommend you to go through these ones and um, take a note of all those because you might need them uh, when you are building uh, Xamarin forms applications. Each one of these plugins comes with. Um, with uh, a tutorial how to uh, use this uh, plugin so for our share uh, plugin here it comes with the link to the NuGet website with and also with the link to the github project so it's almost all of them are open source plugins so you can go to uh, the source file here where you have the um, the source file of your of the, this plugin but also you get um, some uh, short tutorial and simple tutorial about how to use this uh, plugin so here for example you, you get um, that you can use this api through the cross share dot current and then you have the methods share and share uh, link if i go and zoom here it is also the share link and share uh, for the text and you see here that there is another functionality in this plugin that I didn't uh, mention it earlier which is the clip clipboard so you can here uh, copy um, anything to your clipboard so you can uh, set the clipboard text and uh, so that you can uh, paste it um, later So you find here all the documentation you need for uh, for using this uh, plugin and all the other uh, plugins in uh, Xamarin Forms. So again, take a look at these plugins; they are uh, really uh, useful for you. And the link is GitHub.com/xamarin/xamarincomponents. So I hope this was useful for you and again, um, thank you.